everyone. Well, what many people don't know about me is that I'm a qualified nail technician and um, I'm qualified in acrylic and gel and um, manicures and pedicures and also certain amounts of massaging. <laughs> so um, I like to I like to do nails, I just haven't done it for anybody else in quite a while um, because my focus has just been elsewhere lately. Uh, when I was in Cape Town, I used to do it in my shop and before that I also had a um, home salon where I did it there too. But since I've been back in Joburg now, which has been about seven years, I think, yeah, it's been about seven years, I haven't really done it for people unless I get asked specifically to do it by like a family member or a friend or something um, and then I'll do it but otherwise I haven't really done it for anybody except for myself but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you my nail box because um, some people have asked me to um, do it in a video so that I can show almost like it's almost like eye candy it's nice to see what other people have in their boxes I know I'm also quite nosy about that like I love seeing how much makeup people have and all of that even though I don't really wear much makeup myself and I even though I love makeup I don't wear much of it myself because I don't know I just I stopped long ago <laughs> but I love looking at it and I love actually the actual like having it I just don't like using it that much but <laughs> that's weird <laughs> but anyway so I thought that I would share my makeup box with you so that you can see what's in it. Um, in case you want to start your own makeup box. Um, a lot of the stuff I use on myself, it's not always easy, especially when you are right-handed and you need to do your right hand with your left hand, you become ambidextrous. So without further ado, I'm going to show you my box. I'm going to pick it up just so you can see the outside of it for now. Um, while it's still closed, it's a bit heavy, but um, then I'll show you the inside of it. <laughs> So this is the outside and then I will show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so many of the things that I have, obviously the first things first is the brushes. And this is a gel brush. And then we've got an acrylic brush. It's number number four. And we've got another one which is also number four. Also acrylic. Then we've got the nail art brushes. Which are see they're the thin ones so it's number these are quite old because it's still from the place where I studied which is magnetic nail Academy there's no numbers on them but it's just the really thin ones I use different products um, for acrylic so um, for the acrylic liquid, this one is from NSI. And then we've got the usual nail brush, which I don't really use that much. It's also from the place where I studied. And then you have your little, you say, tot glass um, that you put your acrylic liquid monomer in it. This is Brush Cleaner from Planet Nails and these are nail art pens in purple and black so they look like that. And they are O Star Nails make. And then I have my nail art tool, so it's the picking up tool which you press onto the little um, rhinestone to pick it up. So that one. 
and then the very thin tweezers. Then we need your usuals, which is your scissors. Then your nail cutter. Or should I say false nail cutter? And then obviously also your cuticle clipper. And yeah, this is resin activator. This is for when you do uh, dipping, nail dipping, and um, acrylic nail dipping. It speeds up the glues and resins, the curing of the glues and resins. This is your cuticle pusher, basically pushes back your cuticles, it's the metal one. I love this one because it's heavy duty and it works very well. And then I've got these little um, uh, files, you could see it's like files, that you can use to do the inside of your nail, you know, when you've done acrylic nails and you get product underneath the tip. This helps you to get rid of the product. So you just keep replacing this piece here at the top. And then I've got all my different nail files and sponges. So I've got the white nail sponge, which you use for buffing. And then I've got the actual buffing sponge with the different sides. And this is called a miracle buffer. It looks a bit worse for wear. They go quite quickly, actually. They get messed up quite fast. This is, makes your nail extra shiny. This is another buffer. A very soft nail file, just so that if you don't want to file hard, Got a high grit, and then the normal nail file where you would use to do the side, your the sides of your um, nails, and also to round it off and that, and the top parts of your nails. And then I've got these two, which are you can see looking very dirty, because I use them when I soak off nails so you'll see that you have to know that you can't use them again for normal filing because the acrylic and the nail that's being soaked off comes onto the sponge so I keep them separate for that okay and then I've got the planet nails <clears throat> gel finishing wipe so when you finish with gel and you want to wipe it off because it's got that like that sticky layer on top. And this is Sunny Spray, so it's your antibacterial spray. Okay, so I've got different makes of powder. This one is from NSI. It's the Radiant White. And then also from NSI is the Pearly Pink Mask. So that's a pinky color. From NSI as well, I've got Totally Clear. And then the cheaper version from Planet Nails, also clear. I'm going to do this one. These little things come out. Okay, so as you can see here, yeah, these are little stickers and the um, the nail stamps. There's a different nail stamps that you can use. I also have these clear nails which I want 
I use to put um, examples of what the colors are. Just, I just want to turn around for them. Um, of mixtures that I make with acrylic and um, glitter. And then I've also got fiber. I haven't done that in a long time. This one has got all the little things that you can put on the little diamantes and little crystals and little fun fruits and also some stickers I love this one and And then this is like a um, mother of pearl white acrylic powder. Inside the box, I have wipes. And these are stickers that you would use water to put on. It's um, very tribal. I've got the stamping the rubber one or the gel feels so weird <laughs> the gel stamper and this is just pieces of aluminium foil so that when you want to soak nails off you can do that that way and this is that nail art that you can use then I've got this which has got a whole but different lot of mixtures of nail art powders mixed with um, glitters or even the actual powders themselves like this one some more crystals Some more mixtures. <laughs> and this is the old finishing wipe from when I was studying from the same place, Magnetic, which you wipe your gel off with. And this is from Magnetic, also acrylic powder. This is the French white. And then this is the brush I use the most. Fluffy one looks like a kabuki brush, a kabuki brush. I use that. And then, when you're doing toenails, obviously, these ones just so to keep the toenails apart or the toes apart, not the toenails. This is just something I bought from Planet Nails with music notes on them. Do you mind me and music? And now we're going to look at some of the tips. Although there's one thing there, it's not tips, it's um, this nail forms, revolution nail forms. Um, so it looks like this. You can see it's got a little, little side pieces. And you can actually build your nail inside here. So you build your nail inside this form and then you put it onto the nail and let it dry and then your nail is done it's pretty cool then we've got the normal tips that you would use that you need to blend quite a bit then we've got the french tips gloss and then obviously my favorite color or one of them is the blue tips these are the toenails as you can see they're quite large I'm sure you from the side there so that's toenails and there's the gold one that's silver sorry 
some more of the blue. I need to actually add it to the other one. I think these ones are quite pretty. They're quite pretty. You can see some of these are finished, almost finished. Okay, so that is that is basically everything that is in my box. I have considerably less than what I did have, obviously, because I don't do the nails anymore. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed seeing what was in my box, in my uh, nail box. Um, I don't know how anyone finds it interesting, but apparently they do. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, can you please give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed already, can you please do so? I would really appreciate it. And if you click the little bell notification, you'll be informed when I upload a video again. Also, um, all my social media will be in the description block below. So you can go and check it out as well as my blog, which will also be there. And I hope that you have a lovely day further. Keep your crystal on and your sparkle strong. Bye.